That's right, we're talking about biometeorology or medical meteorology, the link between weather, the Earth's atmosphere, and living things, and in this case, humans. You just get this really deep ache, and, um, and then sometimes I find that the power of my grip is less than I am used to. G. Thomas lives with rheumatoid arthritis, and while she's not a meteorologist, she can tell when the weather is about to change. This is my weather, sort of my weather vein, because it's my left wrist that seems to be most uh, impacted. Jean feels the most discomfort before temperatures start to drop or when rain is on the way. And it's the drop in barometric pressure that precedes rain events that causes joint pain. When the barometric pressure falls, the swelling in the knee expands, the, 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 what's like a water balloon expands and the stretch receptors fire and you feel pain. Changing air pressure around us doesn't just impact patients with arthritis. If you've ever flown in an airplane or taken a ride on a roller coaster, your ears might have popped. Headaches and migraines can also be a precursor to changing weather, all related to barometric pressure changes. As far as the impact from dropping temperatures, the elasticities of tendons and cartilage can diminish with colder temperatures. Cold weather affects patients with arthritis. There's increased stiffness, and there are a few specific diseases where the cold makes it worse. But there's another side of biometeorology that is much more deadly and long-term. According to Russell Dickerson, a professor in the Department of Atmospheric and Oceanic Science at the University of Maryland, the biggest impact the weather has on our human health is through air pollution. Environmental pollution and air pollution especially causes more morbidity and mortality than tuberculosis, AIDS, and uh, armed conflict combined. According to Dr. Dickerson, an estimated 9 million people worldwide are killed by health complications stemming from air pollution every year. The biggest culprit, he says, is ozone pollution. It causes premature aging of the lungs and is uh, related to sickness and even death. Asthma attacks, lung cancer, and cardiovascular problems are all linked to this type of pollution. Cars, trucks, power plants, and even vegetation on hot summer days can cause ozone. And while ozone levels here in the DMV have improved tremendously over the past decade, there is still a long road to cleaner air. Air quality across the region right now is very good. You can see every sensor in the DMV is reporting good air quality. And this is no surprise. Fall and winter typically do coincide with the cleanest air we breathe. That's because ozone increases in the warmer months. Since heat and sunlight are the engines that drive ozone formation, warm sunny days produce more ozone than cool or cloudy days. I'm Caitlin McGrath, WUSA 9.